We're looking at ways that information and communication technologies and services supported by information and communication technologies can start to meet these challenges of caring for older people in their homes. We're working with the National Health Service, the NHS. They're interested in improving care whilst keeping costs at a reasonable level and we're trying to help them do that. This whole area of research needs an interdisciplinary approach. We have clinical scientists, health services researchers, computer scientists, engineers. One project that completed this year is a future bathroom project. And that project has looked at uh, bathroom design for people with age-related disability and how we might improve that. And it has involved older people uh, being trained to be lay researchers. There are an, a lot of uh, large technology companies, global technology companies, who are getting into the healthcare business these days. And um, we're working with them to help them develop uh, technologies which will be applicable uh, to the user group. I'm involved in a, a new project called Script. It's concerned with robotics for in-home stroke rehabilitation. I got involved in that because of previous work that we've been involved in um, looking at uh, stroke rehabilitation in the home using accelerometry and also through the leadership of the SMART2 project and the expertise that we've uh, created in, in, in engaging with people and looking at their needs for technology and how they can be translated by the technologists. We've produced this speech recognition device which uh, recognises the speech of people uh, with disabilities who have speech uh, problems. So the uh, speech recognition is particularly difficult. In order to get it right we've worked with uh, partners in the computer science department at this university who have a world-class speech and hearing group. Um, and we've also worked with, uh, with industrial partners, uh, in this case Toby Churchill and Elpedium and Medipex, who've uh, helped us put together this device. So what, what this device does is people with uh, disabilities speak to it, it recognises what they say and then sends out signals to the home. And in this way uh, people can uh, switch the TV over, can um, open the door, open the windows, turn the lights off. I can show you this uh, uh, this device here, this is a telehealth device and this is for people with chronic conditions. Uh, we're using it with people with heart failure and people with lung disease. What we do with this device uh, is that people uh, enter uh, their symptoms uh, on a daily basis and also do some uh, measurements of blood pressure and weight and, and, and enter those. Uh, these are captured by this device and then downloaded to a, a server and their healthcare practitioners, usually the nurse, can look at uh, their data, can see how they're doing and, uh, and intervene if, if necessary. Long-term conditions is, is a big problem uh, in the NHS and we're looking for more efficient ways of, of, of uh, helping, to be, helping people to manage their conditions. People with heart failure occasionally have exacerbations where fluid builds up, the, the, the heart stops pumping quite as efficiently, fluid builds up within the body and that's a sort of a spiral where the heart finds, then finds it more difficult to pump and people can uh, actually deteriorate fairly rapidly over, over the course of a few days. Um, and by monitoring people's weight and their symptoms on a daily basis, the nurses can see this happening and intervene early so that, uh, and, and one of the interventions is, is very easy, they can just increase their dose of diuretics to try to, to help to get rid of some of the water from their body. As part of an EPSRC funded project uh, we're looking at a, a project called SMART which is trying to develop um, uh, more advanced technologies for helping people to self-manage their heart failure but also uh, self-manage chronic pain or stroke or any other uh, chronic condition. And um, so with, with uh, the SMART project, we're using um, existing technologies, really technologies that are already uh, possibly in people's homes or in people's pockets, because we, we're using a, a mobile phone. Um, but, uh, but we're using them in such a way that they're, they're, they're easy to use for the type of people that uh, we're dealing with. So generally people who, are, who may be older, uh, who are not so familiar with technology. 
it can be used by people to monitor their symptoms, monitor their uh, physiological condition. It also encourages them to take steps to improve their health, so it encourages people to, uh, to do walking exercises and to adopt lifestyle changes which help them manage their condition. The NHS is starting to use uh, some of these technologies and um, we're also working with the NHS and, and with social care organisations to uh, do joint research with them to find out the best ways of, of using these technologies to support their services and to evaluate the effects of the services and, and, and the new technologies on people uh, in, in, uh, in Yorkshire and the surrounding area.